Hello students, so in this video lesson, we will have a short review about derivatives before your pre-final examination in basic calculus. So the first direction is true or false. So you're going to tell whether the given statement is true or false. So given if f of x is equal to 3x cubed plus 3, then f prime of x is equal to 9x squared plus 3. Of course, uh, first, let us uh, use okay, the rules for getting the derivatives. So this will be okay, f prime of x is equal to, that is, so kunin natin yung derivative ng 3x cubed plus yung derivative ng constant natin na 3. So, to get the derivative of this, okay, paano ginagawa? So, yung exponent, i-multiply natin dito sa numerical coefficient natin. So, that will be 3 times 3. So, that is 9x. And then, yung exponent natin, babawasan natin ng isa magiging squared na lang. And then, since ito ay constant, so we all know the derivative ng constant ay 0, so hindi na natin ilalagay. So, therefore, yung derivative ng f of x natin is 9x squared. So, dito sa problem natin, ang sabi 9x squared plus 3. So, therefore, the statement is false. Next. Okay, number 2. Suppose f of x is equal to x squared. And P of X is equal to uh, the product. Okay, again, suppose F of X is equal to X squared. G of X is equal to the square root of X. And P of X is equal to the product of F of X and G of X. Now, we're going to get the P prime X. Okay, let's see if the answer is square root of X. So first, okay, let us write here. Okay, dito natin to. So, we're going to write here. So, f of x is equal to x squared. g of x is equal to square root of x. And this will be, okay, we write as x raised to 1 half. Okay, into exponential form. And then, yung p of x daw natin is the product of f of x and g of x. So, we're going to answer first yung p of x natin. Yung f of x natin is x squared times okay, yung g of x natin is square root of x. So, we can transform into exponential form. So, that is x raised to 1 half. So, applying no, yung ano natin, uh, exponent. Kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng x Nagmumultiply tayo ang exponent natin ay ina-add. So, that will be x raised to 2 plus 1 half. And the answer is x raised to, that is 5 over 2. So, this is the answer for p of x. Now, kunin daw natin yung, uh, ang sabi sa given, ang p prime of x daw natin ay square root of x. So, tingnan natin. So, p prime of x is equal to x raised to 5 over 2. So, kinukuha na natin yung derivative ng p of x natin. So, now, uh, our exponent is 5 over 2. 5 over 2. Then, multiply natin yan dito sa, okay, since 1 yung numerical coefficient, hindi natin ilalagay. So, copy x. And then, yung 5 over 2 natin, bawasan natin ng isa. And then, that will be 5 over 2 x raised to, okay, this is, paano kayo nagsosubtract uh, nag nito? So, ang ginagawa, pwedeng ganito class. Si 2, imumultiply natin kay 1. So, that is negative uh, 2. So, negative 2 plus 5, so pwedeng ganon. Or 5 uh, minus 2. The answer is 3. Okay, same pa rin yung denominator nyo which is 2. So, the answer is 5 over 2 x 
raised to 3 over 2. Or, pwede natin isulat ito as, paano natin isulat? Pwede natin siyang gawing, or, 5 over 2. Tapos, gawin natin yung x natin as, that is, the square root of x cubed. Okay. So, pwedeng ganito. Or, 5x cubed over 2. Okay, that will be the answer. So, anong sabi dito? Square root of x. So, ang p prime of x daw ay square root of x. Pero yung nakuha natin is 5x cubed. Ay, 5. Square root of x cubed. Oh, bakit ito? Okay, so dapat 5x cubed pala. Sorry, this is 5x cubed. Nakalimutan ko. 5x cubed over uh, 5 and the square root of x cubed. Ayusin lang natin. So, para maayos. Hindi lang. Okay. Okay, ulitin natin. So, pwede natin sulat as ganito, no? 5 square root of x cubed over 2. Since ito yung sagot sa p prime of x in that square root of x, so therefore, the statement is false. Okay, next. Okay, suppose uh, square root of uh, f of x is equal to x squared. So, sulat na ganyan natin. f of x is equal to x squared g of x is equal to the square root of x or you can transform that as x raised to 1 half. Now, yung q of x daw natin ay equal to the quotient of f of x and gx. So, what we're going to do class ay kunin muna natin yung value ng q of, q of x. So, yung f of x natin is x squared and then dito, x raised to 1 half. So, we all know dun sa rule ng exponent natin kapag nagdi-divide tayo. So, anong ginagawa? Sinusubtract natin yung exponent. So, copy lang yung base, which is x, and then subtract natin yung exponent. 2 minus 1 half. Of course, ibig sabihin yan 1 and 1 half or 3 over 2. Okay, paano yun? Pwede nga ito, 2 times 2. Ganito yan, diba? 2 minus 1 half. So, pwede nga ito gawin nyo. 2 times 2, 4 minus 1. So, the answer is 3 over 2. Kung ano pa rin yung denominator. So, x raised to 3 over 2. So, this is the q of x. Now, kunin natin yung derivative ng q of x. So, q prime of x is equal to x raised to 3 over 2. So, what we're going to do, multiply natin si 3 over 2 kay x and then si 3 over 2 na exponent. Bawasan natin ang isa. So, 3 over 2 minus 1, the answer is okay, 3 over 2. So, pwede ganito, no? 2 times 1 is 1. So, 3 minus, ay, no, 2 times 1 is 2. 3 minus 2, the answer is 1. Okay, so anong sagot dito? Kasi ang 3 over 2 is 1.5. 1.5 minus 1, so the answer is 0.5. Or 3 over 2 raised to, uh, 3 over 2 x raised to 1 half. Okay, so paano natin, uh, ano pa yung ibang para na pwedeng ang uh, sunet natin is naka ano to, radical. So pwedeng ganito, or 3 square root of x over 2. Okay, so since same sila nito, so therefore, the statement is true. Okay? Next tayo. So, ano kaya ang derivative nung, uh, kukunin natin, yung derivative daw ng x cubed times the quantity of x squared minus 4 is 5x squared minus 12x. So, check natin. So, multiply muna natin to. So, x cubed times x squared, that is x to the fifth power. x cubed minus 4, that is 4x cubed. Okay, so kung kunin natin yung derivative nila, so let's say, lagay natin as y prime. This is y is equal to. Okay, next. Pag kukunin natin yung derivative nila, so i-multiply natin yung 5 dito, so maging 5x to the fourth. 
Okay? Minus 3 times 4 is 12 x squared. So, this is the answer. So, kitang-kita naman na hindi sila pareho. So, therefore, the statement is false. Next. If f of x is equal to the quantity of 4x squared plus 5x times the quantity of 2x squared minus 3x, then f prime of negative 1 is equal to negative 8. So, what we're going to do, subtract muna natin. So, f of, I multiply ito. So, f of x is equal to, pwede po the method, no? 4x squared times 2x squared, that is 8x to the 4th. 4x squared times negative 3x is negative 12x cubed. Next is 5x times 2x squared, that is 10x cubed. 5x times negative 3x is negative 15x. And then, after that, okay, may makukombine ba tayo? Wala. So, so, therefore, ito yung expanded form na. Kukunin natin ngayon ang derivative. Okay, f prime of x is equal to 4 times 8, that is 32. Bawasan ng isa yung exponent, so x cubed na lang. 3 times negative 12, that is negative 36. Okay, so that is 36. So, saan nga natin nakuha yan? 4 times 3, no? So, negative 36x squared plus 30x Okay, so, ano no? Okay, so, hindi natin na-combine pala ito. So, dapat na-combine natin. So, i-double check nga natin yung sagot natin. Or we're going to double check. So, this is 4x squared. Okay. So, we're going to double check first no, yung sagot natin. Okay, so, dito class, na-check. May kulang tayong squared kasi 5x times negative 3x, that is negative 15x squared. And then, check natin, 8x to the 4th minus 12. Okay, so 4, uh, so ito, 4x squared times 2x squared, that is 8x to the 4th. 4x squared times negative 3x, that is negative 12x cubed. Okay, and then, yung isa naman, 5x times 2x squared, that is 10x cubed, minus 15x squared. So, ito malito. Okay, so, tingnan natin lang. Ayusin lang natin, malito. So, brahin natin. Okay. So, again, kukunin na natin yun, no? yung derivative niya. So, we have f prime of x is equal to 32x cubed. Okay? And then, this one magiging, okay, hindi pa natin na-add. So, 12 plus 10, so that is negative 2x cubed. Okay, so ang sagot natin dito ay negative 2x cubed. Pag kukunin natin yung derivative, that is negative 6x squared minus 2 times 15, that is 30, 30x. Okay. So, since ang pinapakuha ay f prime of negative 1, so i-check natin, no? f prime of negative 1. So, palitan natin ng negative 1 yung mga x. 32 times negative 1, okay, cube minus 6 times negative 1. Okay, this is squared. Minus 30 times negative 1. Okay. So, what is the answer? Will be 32. So, this is negative 32. And then, so this is negative 6 times positive 1 and positive 30. Okay. So, the answer will be negative 32. Okay. Negative 32 minus 6 plus 30. Okay. So, Negative 32 minus 6, that is negative, what is that? Negative 26. Okay? Tama ba? Neg uh, negative 32 minus 6. So, kasi ito, cancel natin ito. 
Mm -hmm. So negative 30, uh, no, negative 30 to minus 6 pa is negative 38. Plus 30, so negative 8. Okay. So nakuha din natin. So pareha sila. So ibig sabihin, this statement is true. Okay, meron pa? Okay. So ito yung part 1 ng review natin. Okay, yung next, i-upload ka rin yung part 2.